everybody. So as you know, my name is Kiantia Shea and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. Look you guys, we have proposal, love offer, engagement, agreement, wish come true, choice. Ooh, multiple options. Girl, <laughs> what? All right, let us see. <laughs> what are the messages here for our feminine? You got a snake coming in. You have a proposal coming in. You got a lot going on, child. You got signs everywhere. You're seeing what's happening right around you. All right, let us see. Thank you, spirit. What are the messages? What is this? We have truth. Mm. Lots is about to be, lots <laughs> is about to be revealed to you, okay? Anxiety. Somebody is anxious, okay? Preparing to tell you their truths here, ready to reveal some secrets, okay? They're not sleeping, quite restless these days, okay? Let us see. We have ghosted. Ooh, this could be somebody that you haven't spoken to, okay? Or somebody that hasn't spoken to you. We have heartbreak. Whoa, okay? Yeah, so somebody is feeling quite betrayed here okay we did see a snake all right we have math somebody is not telling you how they really feel okay how they really feel they love you they want to propose hmm all right what is this we have family Oof. okay uh somebody could have oh got into a relationship okay there's a proposal coming, so put yourself on whichever side. You could be the one that got into a relationship after this person ghosted you. Them finding out, they're heartbroken. Mm, this person could be trying to come back in, be mindful of this. Okay, we have commitment. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a tower. Mm, somebody's coming in as a shock. They've been spying on you from afar. They want to express their romantic feelings. You're getting signs everywhere. Look, ex-lover. Look. New love. Look. I'm not making this up. Music. You're getting the signs and the songs. Somebody's addicted to you here. There's a lot of changes that you're going through. You and your twin, your soulmate. I have unfinished business. Somebody's coming in to propose. This is going to be very unexpected to you. You feel like this person is a snake. You're like, what do you want? You know, it could have also been they were dealing with a third party. They realized that person is a snake. Okay. I don't think they're a snake at all. I just think... This person wants what they want, and they want you. Lord, if you feel like they're a snake, you might need to trust that. But somebody here feels like they don't want to be in regret. Five of Cups is in reverse. Should it be? No, but it is. So that tells me something. Hmm. All right, let us see. This is not intended to be in reverse. So if they are in reverse, they're going to get put up right, child. Two of Pentacles, Six of Cups, okay? Two of Pentacles and Six of Cups represents balance here in this relationship. This could be somebody that you have child or children with for some of you. Not all of you, but I am getting that, okay? Hmm. Yeah, somebody feels away here. Somebody feels like you moved on too quickly. Yeah, someone feels like you moved on too quickly or something like that. Or you feel like that. Okay, put yourself on whichever side. But yes, all right? Someone feels like they don't want to deny their romantic feelings anymore. They want to come towards you and express them. They want to let you know they want to invest. Ten of Wands. Some of you feel like this person is dealing with too much or... They have a lot going on. The Emperor, Page of Cups. They want to apologize. They want to apologize for leaving you hanging. Okay. Mm. Five of Cups in reverse. Supposed to be upright. But yeah, this person, they don't want to be in regret anymore. Yeah, Six of Wands. They want to bring something to your awareness. Heal. Okay, yeah. They've been keeping it to themselves. How happy you make them. How they feel about you. That they're in love. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, you're very independent, you look good, you're put together. Eight of Pentacles, you've worked on yourself, you've built your life up, okay? Some of you, like I said, have strong commitments, relationships coming in, or you already have that, okay? And this person from the past could be a twin for some of you, soulmate, wants to express love. And you're like, huh? Unfinished business. And you're confused. It's unexpected, that's the overall energy. You're not expecting this person to reveal this. Look, secret crush. This player has a secret crush on you, and they want to propose. You see? It might have sounded crazy as I was reading, but I feel it, y'all. It's here. 
<laughs> Look at this. Does that not say it all? The underlying energy is the overall reading energy. You know, the overall energy of the reading, y'all. That's what it is. Okay. Somebody is accepting their emotions. The emperor finally accepting their emotions. So now that they were ready to come towards you and express them, you think they're lying. Yeah. King of Cups and the Lovers. This person wants to come towards you and express this truth now. You're like, ah, I know you're a player. I know you crush a lot. <laughs> I know this is nothing new. You get what I'm saying? Three of Cups. It could be because there's third party here. That could be that snake, like I said, for some of you. Because of them having a snake around them somewhere, somehow, you think the snake is a low, deceptive, shady type of person. Okay? So whether that's someone around them or it's them. Right? But Two of Wands is them having made a choice. You being the choice. Okay? Again, this being unexpected. Knight of Cups, somebody wants to commit to you. This person wants a brand new beginning. All right, Page of Pentacles, yeah, Four of Wands. They want to be in union with their twin, Judgment, okay? There's a phone call coming through. All right, hey, man, somebody is stuck on you like glue. They don't want to let go, Page of Cups. They don't want to let go. They have no intentions on ever letting go. Again, for some of you, you may have child or children with this person or it could have broke your heart that they had moved on and, you know, had a whole committed situation somewhere else. Yeah, the chariot, but there is progress about to happen here in this connection, okay? Remember, a relationship is between two, so whatever they had going on with somebody else, not y'all business. <laughs> you know, whatever you had going on with somebody else, not their business. Like, at the end of the day, what do y'all have going on with each other? Ten of Pentacles, that's what they want. Temperance is divine intervention. Four of Cups is them just being discontent without you in general, you know? This person doesn't feel... Hmm. I don't want to say they don't feel whole without you because they very well do. They're showing up as an emperor, but they just they feel like something's missing. You know, something is missing. And not to say I feel like I'm not whole or anything, but something is missing. Right? So let us see. King of Pentacles and Temperance, Divine Intervention, Earth Angel Energy. Some of you are Earth Angels. Okay. Shout out to Earth Angel in every chat. Hey, lady. All right, I love when you guys show me love. <laughs> All right, Ten of Wands. Yeah, see? So you feel like this person could have just made things difficult or that's how they're seeing it now. They're like, okay, I get it. I get it. This has become a toxic, toxic, what? <laughs> Taxing, okay? So it could be very stressful or toxic attachment, okay? We have King of Swords, okay? Um, yeah, this is what they're realizing. I have to put some sort of truth in. Be honest, not be deceptive, not seem like I'm being shady because that's not going to get me anywhere with this person, right? Maybe that has worked in the past with other people. Who knows? Maybe people were attracted to the shady in them, you know? You're like, I don't like that, you know? If you have something you want to say, say it. Don't be throwing shade, you know? Don't be doing this and saying that and whatever, okay? King of Wands, you feel the way? Take some action. All right, the high priestess, okay? There's an inner knowing that you have. So until this person does what they need to do, nine of wands, there's this barrier that you have up with this person. You have this guard up. And you're like, nope. You know? <clears throat> yeah, you know, they know why this guard is up. Okay? So we have the five of cups and the six of wands. Five of swords, yeah. Okay? If I don't say or do what I feel I need to, then I'll be done lost the person. Two of Cups, I love you. Okay, I need you to know I love you. I need you to know you're my heart's desires. You know, that's where they're coming from. So that I don't feel like I never said anything. You know, there's unfinished business. I have to set, I have to, you know, tell you this. I have to say something, all right? Mm -mm. Says it's not over, patterns. Yeah, some of you are just like, listen, no. Okay, this person, they have this way of saying one thing and then leaving you sitting here in the Nine of Swords energy. You don't want to get your hopes up is what I'm getting. Okay, but you have to keep them up, <laughs> to be honest with you, because love is out there. You know, see, we got the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to get this regardless of whether you have it with them or not. You understand? And you have to know that. So keep them hopes real high, sis. <laughs> okay, real high. So... Yeah, Ten of Swords, that's what it is. Some of you just lost that hope that something was ever going to happen with you and that person. You're like, ah, psh, whatever. Mm, who cares? Right? The magician. And they're like, damn, who cares? You don't care anymore? 
It's not to say you don't care anymore. We saw the Queen of Cups. So anytime we see the Queen of Cups, we know you, come on, come on, okay? Come on. However, she's not about to be no fool either, all right? Yeah, we got the Ten of Cups. Mm-hmm, that's what they want with you. The King of Cups, the Lovers, the Ten of Cups? Oh, you know, like, really? Let's think about this, right? The Ten of Cups, the King of Cups, the Lovers. Let's think about this. You know, this person wants family with you. That could also be why that's there. Death card, rebirth. There is a change, transformation, transformation, <laughs> transformation, okay? Transition, okay? It's like the words are coming out so fast, you guys. Excuse me. It's the Mercury energy in me. Can't help it. All right, so let us see. <laughs> Sometimes I can. The Knight of Cups and the Fool, all right? Person wants to come toward you. And like I said, have this brand new beginning, okay? Speaking of Mercury, I just love this person's chucks with the little Mercury rings on it. <laughs> like he is out of here. So when I tell you this person is coming towards you quickly to express their truth, all right? Mm-hmm, Eight of Wands, momentum, exactly. That's literally quickness and expression. So somebody talking, communicating, okay? Page of Pentacles, like planting a seed, wanting to see it flourish, the magician. They are manifesting you. <laughs> as soon as I said that, we flipped it over. It's literally the Empress. Go to your auntie's house. Thank you, spirit. Such a beautiful gift, God. <sighs> Thank you, God. Oh, yeah, aiming to manifest you, aiming to pull on you, okay? Child, they said that's my divine feminine. I need you and I want you, baby. The hierophant is marriage, commitment, loyalty. I don't want to be a player no more. <laughs> For real, that's what it's giving, okay? Yeah, Ace of Cups. I don't want to be a player no more. All right, you like, boy, please. I know you'd be crushing a lot. They like, this is different, all right? Death and rebirth. There's a change in me. Mm, nine of Swords. This person, they're suffering to themselves right now. They've been wanting to reach out, but they don't want to say the wrong thing or sound. Mm, I don't know why I just heard that. They don't want to sound too excited. They may not want you to know how discontent they are without you. They want you to know they love you, but they don't want you to feel like you have no sort of power and control over them or nothing. I don't think that's what you want, though. <laughs> you just want to love them. And by the way, you all, we've said this before, you know, but I'll say it again. It's not a problem. For the people in the back of the back, I don't mind you all giving your comments in the comment section. In fact, I love it very much. I appreciate it. It warms my heart to see, especially when you're all interacting with each other. It's like, yes, Divine Feminine Safe Group. Yes, you know, be safe. Of course, you're online. People always lurking, child. So just be mindful of what you're saying, what you're putting out there, what you're doing. Keep in mind you are on line okay that's number one number two so always practice safety online yes okay number two um if you are in a sour mood and you know you're not feeling the best about your situation your relationship your connection whatever is going on please don't be that bitter betty going under somebody else's comment and spreading around your your misery your pain your whatever is going on we are human we all going to go through whatever emotion but those things are temporary they're going to pass don't let your temporary feelings and emotions you know be what causes someone else to lose hope or to just ultimately give up on love or you know because you in a in a mood get over it okay please don't be in the comment section under other people's comments like that because then you're just gonna get blocked in general you get what i'm saying that's just not come on you understand all right now if you don't care go ahead be my guest keep on doing it and keep on getting blocked you get what i'm saying you can not care and i cannot care too 
but please be respectful <laughs> of the people that I do care about, the ones that are here showing love, you know, expressing what they're feeling, you know, that are willing to be vulnerable. And true vulnerability, it feels like, and it looks like being naked. Like this lover's card, it's sacred. So don't do that, don't, don't, nah. You're fully clothed when you're in that energy. You're not ready to be vulnerable. You get what I'm saying? Or you're, you're over being vulnerable or whatever, and you're entitled to your feelings. There's readings that we have on the channel that don't be all lovey-dovey, that be talking about, you know, other things. So maybe that's your reading. Go check that out, you know, but don't ruin someone else's energy or try to. That's not okay. It's never okay. All right, so yeah, we have the star card and we have the knight of wands, all right? I just really had to say that because that's just not cool. You never know what that might do to somebody, you know, mentally. And if that's your intention, then that's really not cool. And that's why I just block stuff like that, y'all. So if you see somebody comment underneath your comment and they're being rude and nasty, don't even engage, okay? Just know in advance that when Blue sees it, it's going away, okay? So we have the star card, and so is the person. <laughs> it's divine protection, okay? This union is divinely protected. It is meant to be. It's written in the stars. It's in the stars, darling, okay? Didn't we see the king of pentacles earlier? Now here you are, queen, okay? Very dependable and reliable, okay? Sensual, grounded, mature. Somebody that, you know, has it together. You like to take your time to get things right. Knight of Pentacles doesn't usually bother you in the event that you know what the plan is. <laughs> if you don't know that somebody's putting work in for a reason, then to you, it's just a waste of time. Yeah, see, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, exactly. Seven of Wands is let me stand up and fight for this connection and show you how I feel, show you that I love you. You know what I mean? That's where somebody is right now. Okay, maybe at some point they weren't doing it. Like I said, you didn't believe them. They had to choose whatever was going on. Yeah, somebody's like, I pray that, you know, this can be forgiven. So if it was seven of swords, like I wasn't honest with you or anything like that, stuff that's typically not forgiven. Yeah, because the devil could have been playing tricks on them, playing tricks with their mind, telling them what isn't versus what is. Yeah, we got the seven of cups here, the three of swords, the hangman. Yeah. All right, so the person could have said something, done something under the influence of lower vibrational energies that could have caused them to be at a distance from you. Okay, but here they come wanting to put some work in. All right, yep, this is reunion. They make a choice, they've made a choice, and they want to communicate it, they want to express it. Six of Pentacles, yep. But that tower, this is definitely going to shock you. I mean, that's one thing they keep expressing this is going to shock you we got creator earth and you are epic okay you are epic feminine okay balance in balance you and this person are in harmony and sync okay it says nourish the sacred feminine nourish the sacred. i don't know why i just heard fruits and veggies okay so Perhaps eat some more fruits and veggies to balance out your hormones or something. Could be one of the things that's coming out here. Okay. Raw intention. Yeah, what did I say? It's all about that intention, baby. All right. So, yeah, I feel like this person is raw. You're raw. <laughs> yeah, clearly showing up as the queen of pentacles. Look at her. She outside with the, the twigs in her uh, head wrap. <laughs> How that look? Very natural, very earthy. <laughs> All right. Lead your metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting. This person is like, listen, no, uh uh, something has to change. Did I say that? <laughs> mm, I gotta hear that song by Keisha Cole and Jaheen. <laughs> mm. Somebody feel like they changed for you. Or they're changing. We have rise, okay? And not because you was like, you know what you need to do? You need to change. You need to make this change in order to be with me. You need to make this change in order to be with me. You didn't say that. <laughs> you just elevated who you are, how you are, how you move. And because of that, they have no choice but to do the same thing. If you're a butterfly, that means you out here flying around getting it. 
If I want to keep up with that butterfly, what do I need to be? <laughs> a butterfly. You know what I'm saying? I myself have to rise. I cannot stay low vibrational. If I want to connect with you, if I want to be with you, that's not going to work. If I want to associate myself with you in any way at all, my divine feminine, then yeah, I'm going to have to rise above the pettiness. I'm going to have to rise above the shadow stuff. I'm going to have to, and I'm not saying, you know, get rid of your shadow completely. A healthy shadow is what's up. But that's the thing. Is it healthy? So lead your own metamorphosis, okay? We have you are light. Yeah, you are light. I'm just saying don't live in the shadows. That ain't where uh, God is. <laughs> All right? You're going to find God everywhere, but I'm just saying. Okay? So it says, what do you really want? All right? So that could be what they have to figure out. <laughs> X marks the spot. Okay? We said X lover. So for some of you, I keep saying every time I see that, you know, it's like, now, that's not always going to apply. I only say it when it's applicable. Okay? <laughs> it's not always going to apply. But it says old flame. You see what I'm saying? This is somebody that the flame, I feel, has always, you know, been burning. But because you didn't know if you could trust them or not, you just, you know, oh, my God. It says feed your artist. And does this not look like the crown on this lady's head? That's, I just had an oh, my God moment. I mean, I should have said oh, my gosh. Look at this, y'all. Am I? No, I'm not driven. It looks the same. <laughs> okay. Feed your artists. Mm. <laughs> Cozy up with risk. Okay. And it's a flame there. Mm. Some of you may see this person as a risk. Touching that flame is, is too hot. But what does your soul say? Mmm. <laughs> All right. Oh, my. We got so many. All right. Your past supports your future. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm only going to say it when it's applicable. It's not going to be applicable for everybody. But you act like there aren't, you know, millions and millions of people who have had a situation similar to that. You know, it's not far-fetched. Maybe that's why unexpected came out. That's something you wouldn't expect yourself to do. You know, you'd be like, I ain't never doing this. <laughs> That'd be exactly what you be done did, child. All right? Bliss is worth creating from, for, and from. Like, I ain't never doing this. Okay. <laughs> mm. The only thing I said I'd never do and really know that I'd never do is be scared. I might blue go to your auntie house. <laughs> nah, there's times where, you know, we have been afraid of lions and tigers and bears. No, I'm just kidding. Light in the unexpected, all right? But like I said, it's times when you be like, I ain't never going to do this. And that's exactly what you be done did, child. Bye. All right. <clears throat> Fill your cup with sacred giggles. Exactly. You see how it's always applicable right on time? I'm always going to make y'all smile and laugh right on time. Cut the cords down. Exactly. Cut them cords down. You want to cut a cord, cut that cord. Okay, trying to cut this cord between you and your person. Cut the cord of doubt. How about that? Cut that cord. <laughs> yeah, the good kind. This is the good kind of relationship. This is the good kind of past supporting your future. This is the good kind of X supporting the spot. <laughs> this, I said X supporting the spot. Did you hear that? Supporting the spot. Y'all can take that however y'all need to take that. But we have the good kind. Okay, I, I like the way that sounds. But, yeah, this, you know, this could be the good kind of X marking the spot, y'all. Okay? Find your sacred flow. It's a sacred relationship. The edge of evolution feels messy. All right? Might feel a little bit messy and all that. But, you know, this is, this is a good connection here. This is a beautiful energy here. Okay? This person has regenerated. All right? Could have thought they were done for. Could have thought the darkness got them. The darkness had them. It was over. I know. God still reigns supreme. So. <sighs> Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God. Mm -hmm. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. <laughs> mm. Come through. All right. Ooh. How'd you say it? Vajrayo Jenny. Vajrayo Jenny. Hmm. 
the essence of all Buddhas. I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. Mm. Vajra, Vajra or Vajrajni? I feel like it's Vajrajni because it's V-A-J-R-A-Y-O-G-I-N-I. How would you pronounce it, goddesses? Help a sister out. <laughs> each one to each one. No, but that's what I feel like. Is it Vajrajni? Hmm. Vaj Rayojini. That's how it feels. Okay. We have Lilith. All right. The first woman. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. Mm hmm. I'm here for this entire reading, you guys. Mm hmm. This wasn't even supposed to be this long. But when you feel it. <laughs> You know how this is going to be so, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to share this for, um, I'm going to share this with the patrons. <laughs> all right, so the cosmic egg, all right, the divine feminine. I hold the universe within me. I am the force of an ever-expanding love, okay? You have the cosmic egg. That's why they want to come towards you and have this family. Yeah, that makes sense, all right? So if it's one thing for sure and two things for certain before we get into this, all. Oh, White buffalo calf woman. One second before we get into that. Beautiful. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, we have nourish the sacred feminine and we have the divine feminine. So, if it's one thing for sure and two things for certain, boo, boo, who you be? Divine feminine. <laughs> Cut the cords of doubts. All right, you could know that you're divine feminine, but feel like maybe that's not divine masculine. Oh, baby, that's divine masculine. That's your partner. Okay, now we have white buffalo calf woman, the prophetess of the sacred way. My heart is a compass. The path of love is true abundance. Amen. Ooh. Yes, 2717. So I've been seeing that number everywhere. 717. All right, Diana, queen of the wilderness. Ooh. <laughs> Dirty Diana playing in my mind, okay? The language of the natural world is a frequency of love. This is my mother tongue. I was just about to say, I'm about to start speaking in tongues. I was just about to say, I'm about to start speaking in tongues because of the white buffalo calf woman. And it got me to thinking about the Apache roots <laughs> that I have. I start speaking in tongues, all right? We got Shakina, the presence of divine feminine, or the presence of the divine feminine. All right. At the center of everything, there is light. And I am that light. Ooh, ooh, flowing through me. Yes, spirit. All right. <laughs> All right. We have Sarah Lakali, mm. queen of the outsiders. I like it. OK, I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. Oh. Yes, darling. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. That's what I feel like. When you fall in that divine love, baby, ain't no coming out. I feel like that's how you and your partner feel. Y'all in that thing. Y'all was in it. Okay. So, what is this? Yeshi or Yishi? So, Jayao, okay. Lady of the Lotus Born. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. <laughs> I really love this deck. I love everything about it, you guys. I do. All right. So, oh my goodness. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> okay. So, I pray that this helps you. I know that it will. Overall, what we get in here is what we had got. No, I'm just kidding. Because at the end of the day, the day got to end. No. But what we do see is that divine masculine is in love. Divine Masculine does want union. Divine Masculine does want this new beginning. The only thing that's standing in the way is fear and doubt. That may be what you need to release. If you didn't see that video that I put out right before this one, please do go and check it out. It will give you a little more insight and clarity as to what I'm referring to when I say cut the cords of fear and doubt and worry and just know that everything is going to work itself out. This person is literally you know, a 
this person feels like they don't want to go without you but almost like they cannot go without you all right hmm. that's so sweet so i pray that this helps you i know that it will if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and have